Well, Mr. Prime Minister, uh, welcome. Welcome. I know you've been on the job a long time. <laughs> All over. Hope your people are prepared to understand why you got up here so quickly, and uh, we appreciate it. I'm looking forward to having a chance to get to know you a bit uh, more personally. I always get kidded by Barack Obama when I always say to him, "All politics are personal. All the personal relations are in, because I think it's critical." The alliance between Australia and the United States has long been an anchor. Building prosperity. I uh, the New York Pacific, our nation is shoulder to shoulder, and every conflict seems to be on its mind. And I'm uh, really proud that our alliance is strong and convinced. I'm sure we can be strong in the division. And thank you for coming to Tokyo, Mr. Prime Minister. Congratulations again on your election, and the floor is yours. Well, thank you very much, Mr. President. and. It, uh, it, it's been an honour uh, to uh, start my prime ministership and the, the new government uh, with uh, meetings with yourself, but also with uh, Prime Minister Gitsida and Prime Minister Modi. Uh, Australia and the United States, uh, many years ago, uh, a, a young fellow, uh, myself in my, in my 20s, I was a guest of your State Department. Uh, with the State Department program and had uh, had five weeks in the in, in the US. Uh, diverse, we went to. I, I they had a program which was uh, you could design a theme, and my was I wanted to see the interaction of groups with the US government. So I did everything from uh, the National Rifle Association to the Sierra Club to Planned Parenthood to. The full, the full kit and convertible across the spectrum. You're a great man. But it was an, an opportunity to see the, the full diversity of the way that the country operates, and as well, of course, they do. You do dinners in people's homes as well, who host you. And it was a chance to really immerse myself. There. And I had security briefings in, in Hawaii on the way back. And uh, the, uh, the US State Department was good enough as well to manage to justify a trip to Vegas as well. <laughs> That's cool. I'm not quite sure where that fit in. Uh, but it was, a, it was a good trip indeed. And uh, of course, uh, my, my government is very committed to the alliance. We're very proud of the fact that the alliance was forged uh, by John Curtin uh, during World War II that we turned to America and that led uh, in the post-war to what we've just celebrated as the 70th anniversary of the formal alliance but it really began uh, when our country was under threat and uh, we commemorated as well recently the, uh, the 80th anniversary of, of uh, USS Peary in, in Darwin the American loss of life, and uh, we've been uh, friends ever since, and uh, we play a very important role in terms of national security uh, for us, but for our region as well. I was a part of the government that brought the US Marines to Darwin under mm -hmm. Julia Gillard, which was uh, a, a very important uh, move, and I look forward uh, to really strengthening our relationship. I've, I've been a participant. We last met when we were vice president, uh, and uh, my participation in the Australia-American Leadership Dialogue I've done for many, many years. That's an important body. I've known some of your colleagues, Kurt, in particular, for some time. Uh, well, the as well. As well. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good time. <laughs> I, I, I quote him regularly. That's so <laughs> <laughs> Very important. So thank you, Mr. President, for your congratulations and your warm welcome. And I look forward to welcoming you down to the Quad Readers meeting next year.
uh, but also uh, my intention to thank you to, uh, I will be visiting the US uh, before then. Before I'd like to invite you to that as well before then. Thank you. Maybe we'll work out the time sooner than later. But you are going to have to be home sometime. That's <laughs> working out okay. So, uh, <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.